Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're using N8N to automate tasks involving Google services like Drive, Sheets, Docs, Gmail, or even YouTube, you'll know that setting up the credentials can sometimes feel a bit tricky. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps to create the necessary Google credentials so you can connect all these services securely in your N8N workflows. All right. Let's start with the Google Drive node here in our N8N workflow. When you first add a Google node, you'll see this credential to connect with section is empty or needs configuration. We need to create a new credential, so click the dropdown and select Create New Credential. This opens up the credential configuration window. You'll see it needs a client ID and a client secret. To get these, we need to set things up in Google Cloud Platform. Notice this OAuth redirect URL. We'll need this later, so keep this window handy. There's also a helpful Open Docs link if you need more detailed written instructions. Clicking Open Docs takes you to the N8N documentation for Google OAuth 2 setup. It outlines the steps we're about to follow. You can see the prerequisites here, mainly needing a Google Cloud account and the five main steps involved. Let's head over to Google Cloud. I'll click this link here. This takes us to the Google Cloud homepage. Now, click on Console in the top right corner to go to your Google Cloud Platform dashboard. Okay, here we are in the Google Cloud Console. The first thing we need is a project to house our credentials and API configurations. Click the project name dropdown at the top and then select New Project. Let's give our project a name. I'll call it Test Project. You can leave the location as no organization unless you have one set up. Now, click Create. Google Cloud will take a few moments to create the new project. You'll usually see progress in the notifications. Once it's ready, click the notification bell. Click Select Project. This makes our newly created project the active one. The console will refresh, and you should now see Test Project selected at the top. Great. Now we need to enable the specific Google APIs that our N8N nodes will use. Click the navigation menu in the top left. Hover over APIs and services, and then click on Library. This takes us to the API library where we can search for and enable the APIs we need. First up, let's search for the Google Drive API. Type Google Drive API in the search box and click on the Google Drive API result. This page gives you information about the API. To use it, we need to click the Enable button. This might take a moment. Okay, the Google Drive API is now enabled for our test project. Now, let's repeat this process for the other APIs. Use the search bar at the top and search for Google Sheets API. Click the Google Sheets API result and click Enable. All right, Sheets API is enabled. Next up, Google Docs. Search for Google Docs API, Click the result and enable it. Docs API enabled. Now for YouTube, search for YouTube API. We want the YouTube Data API v3. Click on that and click enable. YouTube API is now enabled. Finally, let's enable the Gmail API. Search for Gmail API. Click the result and enable it. Perfect, all the APIs we need are now enabled in our project. The next crucial step is to configure the OAuth consent screen. This is what users will see when they grant your N8N application access to their Google account. Go back to the navigation menu, APIs and services, and this time click OAuth consent screen. Since this is a new project, we need to configure this. Click get started. First, give your application a name. This will be shown to users. I'll put test app for N8N. Select your email address for user support. Click next. For user type, select external. This means any Google user can potentially authorize the app, but because it's in testing mode initially, only specific test users we define can actually use it. Click next. Enter your email address again under developer contact information. Review the terms and check the I agree box. Click continue. And finally, click create to set up the consent screen basics. Okay, the consent screen is configured, but it's in testing mode. This means only users added to the test users list can authorize the application. Click audience on the left. 
Let's add ourselves as a test user. Scroll down and click plus add users. Enter the Google account email address you'll be using to authenticate in N8N. Click save. You should now see your email listed under test users. Now that the APIs are enabled and the consent screen is set up, we can finally create the actual credentials, the client ID and secret. Click overview on the left and click the button create OAuth client. From the application type dropdown, select web application as N8N will be acting like a web server during authentication. Give this client ID a name, for example, web client N8N. Now scroll down to the authorized redirect URIs. This is critical. It tells Google where it's safe to send the user back to after they authorize access. Click plus add URI. We need to get this URL from our N8N credential window. Let's switch back to N8N. Find the OAuth redirect URL field and click the copy icon next to it. Go back to the Google Cloud Console and paste that URL into the URI field. Now, click Create. And there we have it. Google has generated our client ID and client secret. Keep this pop-up open. We need to copy these values into N8N. First, click the copy icon next to the client ID. Switch back to the N8N Google Drive account credential window and paste the client ID into the client ID field. Now, back to Google Cloud, click the copy icon next to the client secret. And back in N8N, paste this into the client secret field. With both the client ID and secret entered, click the sign in with Google button. A new window will pop up for Google sign in. Sign in into your account. Because we just created this app and haven't submitted it for verification, Google shows this warning. Since we are the developer and we trust this app, it's safe to continue. Check Select All to grant access for all the requested scopes. Scroll down and click Continue. You should see a Connection Successful message in the pop-up window. Back in the N8N credential window, it now shows Account Connected. This credential is now saved. We can close this window. Back in the Google Drive node, now I can see my Google Drive folders. Google Drive is connected. Now let's connect the other nodes. We'll click on the Gmail node, open the Credentials dropdown, and click plus Create New Credential. Just click Sign In with Google. The Google Sign In pop-up appears again. Sign in into your account. And here, it asks if you want to allow ongoing access. I'll check the box and click Continue. Connection successful, the pop-up closes, and the Gmail account is connected in N8N. Same process for Google Sheets. Click the node, create new credential. Click sign in with Google. It shows we already have access to some services. Click continue and Sheets is connected. Save and close. Now for Google Docs. Create new credential. This time, it requests the client ID and secret fields again. We just need to copy paste them again. Let's grab the credentials from Google Cloud. Go back to the Google Cloud console copy the client ID, and copy the client secret. Okay, with the credentials entered, click Sign In with Google. We see the verification warning again. Click Continue. Grant access, checking Select All, and clicking Continue. Docs is now connected. Finally, let's do YouTube. Click the node, Create New Credential. Again, it asks for client ID and secret. Back to Google Cloud one last time. Copy the client ID and copy the client secret. Paste them in and click Sign in with Google. Click Continue on the warning screen. Grant access for YouTube, check Select All, scroll down and click Continue. And YouTube is connected. So now, all our Google and YouTube nodes in this workflow should be using the credentials we just created through Google Cloud Platform. By the way, if you close the pop-up, navigate back to Client. Click on the client name, Web Client N8N. Here's the client ID in secret again. And that's how you set up your Google and YouTube credentials for use in N8N. It involves a few steps in the Google Cloud Console, but once you've done it, connecting subsequent nodes is much quicker. I hope this step by step guide was helpful. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more N8N tutorials and automation tips. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.